This video is on uh, anxiety in the horse trailer. And as you can see, um, she's going to get in just fine. And while she's in, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go through everything because I need to kind of see what's going on with her since she loaded so good. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, loop the rope through, close the center divide, and then I'm going to step away. And as you can see, she starts getting really antsy, pawing. She starts setting back a little bit. So it's definitely an issue that needs to be taken care of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start her all over again, loading and unloading. So I'm just going to tap her on the hip, have her take a couple of steps into the trailer, stop her. And then as soon as she's calm and relaxed, I'll go ahead and have her take a couple steps out. This way we're, we're reteaching her how to stay calm and relaxed in the trailer. So I'm going to have her take a couple steps out. I'm going to tell her she's a good girl. But I'm only going to have her take a couple steps out when she shows some kind of relaxation. Just by having a couple of feet inside the horse trailer. So now I'm going to go ahead and ask her again. And then I'm going to have her stop and wait. And then as soon as she's relaxed. I'm going to go ahead and have her take a couple of steps out. And it's better to work with her in this manner and uh, get her to relax a little bit going in and out a little at a time and then pretty soon we can work our way all the way back to the front of the trailer and start going over some other exercises as she gets further into the trailer and relaxes. So I'm going to let her stand there for a few minutes. Let's let her relax and then after she relaxes again I'll go ahead and back her out. And there we go ahead and back her out. If she does good, you go ahead and pet her, tell her she's doing a really good job. She's a really good girl. She's a little pushy with her head, but that's something we can work on another time. So I'm just going to use the forward cue, so I'm just tapping on her hind end. And let her take a couple steps into the trailer. This time I let her come a little bit further into the trailer. Then she's got to stop. She's got to relax a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and back her out. She does really good. I'll let her know she did good. Tell her she's a good girl. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the forward cue on her hip. So the the whip is just, it's just a light tap on the hip for her to go forward. And then I'm gonna let her relax. And then I'll go ahead and uh, back her out again, telling her she's a good girl. And all I want her to do is to relax this far into the trailer as of right now. And I'm going to go ahead and give her a forward cue again. And then I'm going to let her get four feet inside the trailer this time. We're not going all the way to the front of the trailer yet. We're just going into the trailer. And then I'm going to go ahead and back her out when she's calm and relaxed. And she has to back all the way out. And again, I'll tell her she's doing a good job. I'll pet her on the neck. And now we're going to go ahead and tap her forward again. This time she... It's not, Tip, so that wasn't good enough. I don't want her just hopping in like that. So I'm going to just go ahead and back her out and I'll ask her again. And that was a little bit better that time. So this time I'll go ahead and lead her up. And it starts a little bit dark. But what I did is I lead her all the way to the front of the trailer where she would normally ride in the trailer. And as soon as she's calm and relaxed back there, then I'm going to go ahead and, and I'll just go ahead and back her out. So this whole process might take you a couple you know a week you know sometimes a couple of weeks to get all the way through this and right now I'm just showing you the beginning steps of it um, if you want to see the this video in full be sure to join my membership page by clicking the link in the description box and become a subscriber to where you can see this video in full and you can see all the other videos 300 plus videos in full on problem solving um, horsemanship, start to unbroke horses with a lot of other topics. So now I'm going to go ahead and back her all the way out. Then the next one we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and ask her to get back in. Now I'm going to play with the divide there and I'm just going to go back and forth very slowly with it. Um, never would I lock it with me being in there. Something did happen. She started to panic. All I have to do is let it open and go ahead and back her out. Then then take a couple of steps back to where she was relaxed and start again. So you would never want to totally shut this.
but you can swing it back and forth to get her more comfortable with the idea. So we hope you've enjoyed all these videos. Again, join my membership uh, page by clicking on the link in the description box to see all my videos in full. Thank you.